Hello guys and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about why dreams and idealizing can ruin your life, can put you on a path of misery and failure and confusion and everything else in between, okay? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you should go about go doing your life and if you do it like the way I'm going to share with you in this video, the chances of you of actually reaching your goal is going to increase. Okay, so if you ask most people, if you ask most of the people from age 18 to 25, if you ask them what they want to be when they grow up, they all want to be millionaires or rich, or famous, everybody wants this, okay, everybody wants that idea, that richness, and fame, and everything else in between, everybody likes the cameras, when the cameras are on, when the audience are there, when there's a lot of people around you, and, and these, these, that person that is being praised upon, this is what most people want, or at least they think they want. This is what most people crave. And most people, their aim is to reach that goal, is to reach that place. I'm going to tell you in this video why that is one of the worst things that you can do to yourself. Is one of the worst things that you can do to yourself. Is the, is, you, what you're really doing, you're betraying yourself. You're betraying yourself, you're betraying your talents, you're betraying you what you're good at, your skills, everything. Because you have forgot who you want to be and you have focused solely on that idea. Okay? There was a saying that goes like this. If you look outward, if you look out, if you look on the magazines, the TV, all of these things, what this thing causes you to do, it causes you to dream. But instead, if you look in, if you look inside yourself, and you look at yourself and trying to find what is it that you want to do, what is your purpose, what is your dharma in this world. Dharma is basically means a word for your purpose. Why are you here to do? If you look inside yourself, You'll become awakened. You become awakened. When you look out, you will dream. When you look in, you awaken. Okay? I want to tell you guys right here, right now, right? If you, ask, if you ask most people, if you ask most people what do they want to be, they want to be rich, they want to be famous. Okay? Most people will look at this idea. Example of this, people like Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, people in business, people in Hollywood, okay, the scientists, the Nobel Prize scientists, everyone wants it when they are there, when they are at the top of their journey, and when they are, when they are being praised for the, for, for, for the work they did. Everyone wants to be here, but no worry focuses on the journey of all the things that these people went through to get to here. Okay? They, f they don't look at all of these things that they went through. They only look at the end goal. And if you're doing this, if you're just looking at the end goal, you're basically ruining yourself. Okay? And most people, most of the people that are here, the 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 20 year old, the 18 year old, the, the people who are at the start of their life, everybody think, all of them think they are the ones who is going to get to over here. They don't understand one thing, they don't understand all of these people that the odds are against them. The odds are against them. Anybody, even you, if you think you're going to get from here, to here, 
most likely 99.9 percent .9 chance most likely you will know you will fail you will not get there you will not reach your dreams you will not reach your ideas most likely you will not get there okay and if you all you want to do is this dream and if all you want to do is all you're thinking about is this, this you, you most likely you already lost again if you're idealizing and if you're dreaming most likely you already lost most likely you already lost again okay what you what you guys need to do is this instead of trying to get somewhere instead of trying to reach a goal you need to focus on the doing instead of trying to find somewhere to reach instead of like saying i want to be a billionaire or i want to be like jeff bezos or elon musk instead of saying that focus on the doing focus on this journey what is it that you want to do okay what is it that you want to do what is your purpose okay because all of this this journey that you go through all of this this is you every day this right here where you get the praise and their attention and the and the reward all of this is this maybe one time in a god knows how many years okay but this is your daily life this is what you do every day every morning you get up when you get up in the morning this is what you're facing not this not the reward you're in the journey okay and what you want to do you want to focus on building a life where every morning you get up where you're doing the mundane task where you're getting up and you have to brush your teeth and you have to wear your socks and you have to clean your dishes and you have to eat breakfast and all of these things you got to find joy in those and not joy in some dream or in some fantasy because that that moment that moment where you is you alone the lights are off you look at the window it's raining that's mostly your 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 day you got to find joy in the doing so instead of idealizing instead of dreaming instead of looking at these role models you don't need role models okay you don't need any we don't need to look at anyone no matter how great they are no matter how powerful they are you don't need to look at them you don't need to watch them you don't need to do anything there's a saying that goes if you need inspiration to do something if you need to look at Elon Musk for you to get up in the morning to do business to work on your business then business is probably not for you if you need to look at motivation if you need to look at Ronnie Coleman every single day to get yourself to training and go to the gym it's probably not for you that's if you want to be a bodybuilder it's probably not for you if you need inspiration and motivation to do something that thing is probably not for you okay and you're most likely not going to succeed in that thing okay let's give another let's like someone like ronnie coleman ronnie coleman became ronnie coleman because he loved going to the gym he loved the training and winning the mr olympia that was this one day out of the year okay that was this one day out of the year then the the rest of the 364 days it was he was just this he was just doing living the journey for this one day out of the year he was in the olympia stage okay he was at the in the stage and getting his trophy and you can't sacrifice 364 days of your life of your existence 
just for one day of existence. Okay? The only way you can get to here is by you loving the journey. So instead of focusing on what is it you, where you want to reach or what your dreams or what your ideals are, you need to focus on the doing. Instead of asking, where do I want to go? Ask, what do I want to do? What is it that you want to do? Because it's the doing that you live with. You live with the doing. You don't live with the result. Every single day you get out of your bed, you're in the doing. You're lost in the doing. And the result is not the rewards, the fame, the fortune. All of those things are secondary. It's not even important. Is you have to be focusing on the doing. So don't look out. Don't dream. Don't idealize. Don't look at these successful people and say, one day I want to be like them. Because most likely you won't. Is this the truth? Most likely you won't be like those people. And it's not pessimistic thing to say saying that you won't be like those people is the, is the true thing to say and, and you got to ask yourself why do you want to be like those people why is it you want to be like Elon Musk why do you want to be the next Jeff Bezos you got to do it you got to do something mostly for the doing and not for the result and not for the goals because you're not living with the goals, you're living with the doing. Every single day when you get up in the, in the morning, you're living with the doing. The doing of that task, doing of that journey, of that pursuit. Okay, And if you don't love the pursuit, if you don't love the hunt, the grind of every day, where you're doing mundane, mundane work every day, just normal task, it's just doing ordinary stuff, if you're not used to that and you don't love that, most likely you won't reach the goal. So if you need inspiration and motivation, that thing is not for you. You shouldn't do that thing. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your talent. And you're betraying yourself. You're betraying what God has put you here to do. Okay? So I'll give you an example. I'm going to example myself. I want to do bodybuilding and I want to do that not because I want to become Mr. Olympia or be the best bodybuilder in the world. I do it because I love the lifestyle of a bodybuilder. Okay, I do it for doing it. Not because one day I'm going to take a trophy. I love going to the gym, love training. I love looking a certain way. And if I'm doing that, that's happiness. Okay? And what you got to do, you got to find that thing that you want to do. Instead of asking, where do I want to go? Who do I want to be? You got to ask yourself this, what do I want to do every day? Because the doing is more important than the result okay and most likely 99% of the time the people that love the doing get the best result okay 99% of the time the people that like and love the do not, not actually 90% I'm guessing 100% out of the time the people that love the doing okay they are the ones who are more likely to get the result, okay? They are the ones who are doing it. I'm sure if you ask Elon Musk, or if you ask these highly successful entrepreneurs, if you ask them, did they ever think, did they ever thought they're going to become who they are now? Most of them said no. Most of them, they, they love the idea of starting the company, of being an entrepreneur, of serving people, of, cre of creating great products and great service and building a great 
company that serves people. That's what they focused on in most of most of the days. And today, they are here. They got the spotlight. They earn the spotlight. And most people look at them and they want to become like them. And it's not the way to go about it. It's not the, it's not the best way to be happy. It's not the best way to secure your chances of, of knowing that you're going to get there. And it's not the best way to be fulfilled. The best type of fulfillment, it comes from purpose. It, it comes from living your purpose. The best kind of pleasure is from doing the work that you find purpose in. That you find joy in doing. That's the best type of pleasure. Most people, they're trying to, they're trying to get these, these instant gratification of pleasures. Drugs, alcohol, all of these, all of these crap. And they try to fill up, fill, up, fill up a hole. That hole is living your dharma, living your purpose. If you're living your purpose, you'll be fulfilled. Okay? If you live your purpose. Okay? And the best type of life that I know, the most happy people that I know are the people who are living outward, who are not inside their head, who are living outwardly, who are living in the service of others okay that's the best type of people those are the happiest people those are the most fulfilled and have and satisfied people I see out there okay so today I want you if you so far you watching this video that means this message is resonating with you what you need to keep in mind from today is forget about Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos or these Hollywood actors and these people who are at the top of the game, you don't even need to watch them. Okay, you don't need to watch them. Maybe you can learn some of their strategies, learn some of their philosophies, learn some of the things they did to get to become successful at what they did. Maybe you is okay to look into them and to study them and to learn their ways. But it's not okay to idealize them. It's not okay to wanting to be like them because that's not what you are put on this earth, on this planet to do. You got to focus on your own journey. You got to focus on your own path to your end goal. And whatever that thing is, it's for you. And it's not him. That's, and here is not is not as important. What it is is the journey. It's the doing. Okay. It's the doing. And if you want to become a businessman, or if if you actually do want to become an entrepreneur, the entrepreneurs that make the most money are not the ones who are are money hungry or money motivated. Who are goal, not goal, ideal, idealization oriented or dream oriented. It's not those people. They are the ones who focus on serving people, who are focused on creating products and services, who are focused on creating operations, business operations that best serve the people. Okay? The reason why Amazon is so big. Because they create great service. They provide people with what they want. They, they provide people with fast shipping. They provide them with great customer service. If you look at Amazon customer service, you'll see that they are one of the best. They have one of the best customer service ever. Their philosophy is to put customers always at the center of everything they do. And they live up to that. They live up to that every single day. Okay, if you deal with Amazon customer service, they put you, the customer, at the center of everything. So what you want to do is focus on the journey. Focus on the doing. Focus on the giving. Focus on the serving. You got to forget yourself 
and you got to focus on the people that you're going to serve. And if you live by this philosophy, if you live like this, and if you look inside yourself, you're not going to be confused, you're not going to be anxious, you're not going to be looking outward and idealizing and dreaming of where you want to go and where you want to be. You're focusing on the doing. Every morning, when you get up, you just get up and do what you do. You're just doing, you're just living your purpose. When the sun is working every day and is coming up, it doesn't get up and looks, look at motivational videos. The sun gets up and does what the sun meant to do. Okay, and everything else. All nature, if you look at all nature's, nature's uh, creatures, they just get up and do what they have to do. They get up and live their dharma. That's what you need to focus on. You get up and do what you want to do. Okay? And if you, do, if you live like this, I promise you every day, you get up with clarity, you get up with purpose, you get up with laser focus, your mind is at peace, your whole being is at peace, you get up and you know what to do. That's the way to go about doing this. Okay? So, just to recap, most people think they are the ones who will succeed. Most people think they are the ones who are going to reach that, this goal right here. Okay? They think they're going to get to here. But they don't, they don't see the journey. They don't see the, all the obstacles, all the challenges that one person had to go through to get to the goal. And most, and most of the people here, they want to get to here. Most likely they won't. 99.9% of the people who want to get to a goal, they don't get there. But if you focus on your own journey and you live in your purpose every single day, that's where fulfillment is, that's where happiness is. Okay? If you're dreaming, if you're idealizing, you want to be like somebody else, you already lost the game. You already lost. Don't even try. You already lost at that point. Okay? Don't aim to reach anywhere. Live your purpose, okay? Don't dream. Look within and awake, okay? Don't set goals, okay? Goal setting mostly don't, don't work. Don't set, don't set too much far away goals. Goals that is sh not too far away. Goals that you know the steps that to get there. Those goals are okay, action goals. But goals that are so far away, goals that are so vague, you don't even know how you're going to get there. Those goals will most likely won't work. Okay? And most of the goals you set, I promise you, you will most likely will not reach them. Because, they, because there's a saying that goes, man's plans, man plans, God laughs. Because when you set goals, you're not considering so many variables. Because you're not considering the chaosness of, of our nature, of yourself, of your own, the world that is within, is, is within you and your inner chimp. You're not considering those factors. So most of the time, most of your goals, you will not reach them. Instead of focusing on your ideas and, and your dream, focus on something you want to do. Okay? Focus on the doing. What is it that you want to get up and do every single day? If you want to be a businessman, be a businessman. If you want to get up every single day and, uh, and live the entrepreneur life, if you like the lifestyle, if you like the things that you do every single day, then go and do that. But don't do it just because you want to, you want to become a billionaire or you want to be famous, or you want to be like Elon Musk. That, if, you do, if you're thinking like this, you I guarantee you already failed. So focus on the doing. Okay? Don't try to find inspiration and motivation. If you try to find inspiration and motivation to do something, that thing is probably not for you. It's not for you. Okay? Don't try to be like anyone. Focus on doing. Focus on your purpose. And get lost in the doing. Because because the doing is the doing, the action is what you're living with every single day. 
the result and the public victory and the successes, all of those things are secondary. All of those things are comes maybe once a year, once, twice a year, once, three times a year. Most of the time is you and what you, is what you see in the mirror and bunch of mundane tasks that you have to get up every single day to do. So you find your joy in your daily activities and not some vague goal, not some vague idea in the future that you're going to reach, okay? Find the joys in your daily activity. Find the joy that's right here in front of you. Look at your hands. This is where the joy is. Find the joy here in your hands. Don't find the joy out there. Don't look out. Look at your hands. Say, what do I want to do with these hands? That's the way joy is. That's where your, your happiness, your success, all of those things lies in your hands. You look at your hands and you create something that what you do here, that's all it matters. This is what you focus on. So this is about it for this video. This is about it. Hope you guys... This right here, I'm sharing, this, this, is, this is one of the secrets to living a good life. If you master this, most you have more chances of reaching your goal. But if all you're focusing on this, your goal, you most likely will not reach it. This is one of the, this is one of the ancient secrets of living a good life. Okay, there's no other way to this. You can't live in your result. You can only live in your daily routine, daily, your daily journey. That's where your life is. Your life is here and now. That's what you focus on. Okay, there's no other way. So if you guys learned something useful here, go ahead and subscribe to W Profit. We're going to be talking about this channel right here is for business entrepreneurs and, and just living your purpose. That's what this channel really is. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be posting videos just whenever I have something good to share. Okay, so thanks again for watching, and I will speak to you.